Good evening. We are in Norwich getting ready for the Sisters of Mercy and I thought I would show you my outfit of the night. Starting at the top, the necklace you've seen before. I bought this at the Alternative Bring and Buy Sale. I think it was the one before last. Can't remember, only a few quid. Moving down, a nice little off-the-shoulder gypsy, gypsy style blouse. It came from eBay and it was about five quid and that includes postage and packing. It had to come from China or somewhere like that, but it was worth the wait. It's very easy to wear and I think it looks rather nice. Further down, the skirt. Ah yes, the skirt. You may remember that rather lovely thing that hubby bought for me at the Rambling Man Festival. I had planned to wear that this evening and had altered it for the purpose. However, we were halfway here when I realised that I'd actually left it hanging on the front bedroom doorknob. Oops. So I have improvised with a pashmina, a safety pin, a couple of hair grips and an elasticated belt. And I have to say, I'm really rather pleased with the result. I think it looks really nice and really different with the hanging bits and the fringing. So there will be a tutorial on this DIY pashmina skirt coming your way very soon. Moving further down, a nice pair of pointy boots with buckles. They were originally from eBay, but I can't remember where they came from originally, either Next or Evans. They are a wide fit because of my poorly leg, and I've had to adjust the left leg so that it fits snug against my calf. So we are off to the sisters and I'll put a little snippet of theirs just to see if they're any good or not. And then we're off round to Norwich tomorrow and I shall take you with me then. Night. seem to have washing hanging up drying in my videos I do apologize anyway we saw the sisters I was a little apprehensive if I'm honest I haven't seen them in years and the last time I did I was less than impressed because Mr Eldridge seemed to have disappeared up his own rear end really didn't seem to be feeling it was very much going through the motions almost like he was only in it for the money I really wanted them to be good because we, you know, we travelled a long way. Hubby had never seen them before, and I just, I just really wanted them to be good. I needn't have worried; they did not disappoint. They were absolutely brilliant, fabulous little venue, about the same size as the O2 Academy in Islington, so quite intimate. Um, it's the sisters; you don't see a great deal except for silhouettes in the bright lights, but. He really seemed to be enjoying himself. He was really engaged, really engaging. Um, and that kind of transferred itself to the audience. And they really sort of fed off that energy and, and gave it back. It was an absolutely brilliant night. I'm hoping that he does add some more dates in 2017, a little bit closer to home. You know, London or maybe Reading or somewhere like that would be great. But we had a fabulous time. Sunday morning we kind of got up relatively leisurely and went off into Norwich. We managed to find a fabulous place for breakfast. It had once been the Magistrates Court and had now been converted into a cafe. Um, we then had a wander around the place. 
Norwich is a very old cathedral town. There's lots of architecture, lots of history right up my street. We found a very nice little tea room, which seemed to be modelled on a 1920s opium den, but the tea and the cake were good, so we didn't mind. I will be doing the pashmina skirt tutorial at some point soon. In the meantime, I will leave you with a photo montage of a wander round Norwich. Until the next time, take care. Bye.